Oh, and I fucking drove her face into the cement. (laughs) Welcome to episode 19. This week, we have our special guest, Connor. Hello. He's a YouTuber from Cracker Milk. Yeah. And yeah. um, let's uh, let's let's talk about what type of content Connor does. Uh, I make sketch comedy. Sketch comedy. Uh, so if you're listening to this, we need you to go to YouTube and type in Cracker Milk into the search bar. Then you'll see a list of results. Click on the Cracker Milk with the little brown logo with the little milk and the little crackers and click on that and then go uh, subscribe to it and just we're watch some sketches. videos. Yeah, we're, they, we're these in guys sketches. are in, in some. Some we're, of the best ones. We've all known each other before we were rich and famous. Yeah, well, you two are rich and famous. So I'm still fucking no, no, he's disgustingly he's poor. 50K, he's he's not getting bad. There. 50K on YouTube, that's not bad. It's all right. It's all he's right. Getting we're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah. <clears throat> um, all right, well, what's happened this week? I shut the bed. Michael shut the bed on the weekend. Yeah. Fucking hell. With my girlfriend. So bad. I I didn't remember it until she told me yesterday. And that's like three days after shitting the bed. We're probably going to get ha- a brand deal from an adult nappy brand or something. I didn't really shit the bed. I just, I guess, farted and then like- How did you not realize and like, why did you not realize you were covered in shit? I don't, I don't really, yeah, remember. I think it's just so normal now. I've got a question for you. Do you think you may have like early stages MS and you (laughs) can't feel the bottom half of your body and that's why you're shitting and pissing yourself so much? Holy shit, is that what happens? Yep. Yeah. What's that, how do you, what's the long form for that? Uh, Multiple Multiple sclerosis. Yeah. Yeah. SC school. Shit. One more time. Well, what, is that what happens? I'm I'm yeah, gonna say yeah. that if you don't realise for three days that you've shit your pants, that there's something alarmingly wrong with and you. And weight gain is another sign. Yeah, and people minutes. have been saying you're fat as fuck. Yeah, fuck. I, mean, I just got a message most from. Most of the uh, symptoms are pain, spasms, fatigue, and weakness. You definitely have uh, that. Bladder and bowel dysfunction. You definitely have that. Sexual oh. dysfunction. No, nah, you can still get. You're hard all good. For yeah, now. Nice. Cognitive problems. Cognitive problem. What's that? Fu- that's eye sight. Can't think properly. That's oh, eye sight. <laughs> <laughs> that's like perfect that fitting for that. That's eye sight. That proves it. <laughs> it's eye sight. My eyes are fucked. Oh, fuck. Oh, dude, that sums up. I have MS. You probably have MS. Oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Christ. Mm. Um, so, yeah, Michael shit the bed on the weekend. Oh, it's hot. I had a nice quiet weekend. Yeah. Connor, what about you? I worked all weekend. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck, I what remember fun- when we had to work. God, that sucked. What's work again? What's work? <laughs> oh, man, that sucked. <laughs> That's so funny. You guys are so fucking funny. <laughs> yeah, we are. He's right. Today's date He's is right. the 9th of the 7th, 2019. And on this day in 2001... The Office mockumentary created by Ricky Gervais and Stephen Merchant, starring Ricky Gervais and Martin Freeman, premiered on BBC Two in the UK. Have you seen Shortly the after, a gunman entered the office, mowing down 14 extras. I did not know that happened. <laughs> Holy shit. 2001, look it up. In 1877, on this day, first ever Wimbledon Tennis Championships begin. First official lawn tennis tournament, men's singles only, followed by ladies being allowed to play, but only in cages. Oh, 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 that's cut. It would have been interesting. Interesting there. In 1815, on this day, first natural gas well is discovered in the US, followed by a mass culling of possums. What's a culling? They just killed heaps of possums in the area. I don't know. Maybe they were a a threat to the um, natural gas supply. I'm not sure. Is that a killing or culling? Culling. Culling. They slit their throats. Slit their throats. Yeah. Holy shit. A hunter walked around with a knife slitting possum throats. They cull it. Anyway. Kind of hot. What's a how? Oh god, fifteen. Oh. <laughs> Famous birthdays. Oh, no. Happy birthday, Tom Hanks. He turns sixty-two. He's a regular viewer. G'day, Tommy. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a buzz tomorrow about that car. And um, yeah, happy birthday, mate. I'll, uh, we'll be coming to America soon. So bloody keep that garage door open, mate. And we'll have a fucking couple of beers, cunt. <laughs> we'll have a couple of beers in the, uh, in the garage, Do mate. Do you prefer Forrest <laughs> Gump or Castaway? Me, Forrest Gump. Yeah. Uh, happy birthday, OJ Simpson, famous footballer who murdered his wife. He uh, brutally, brutally Allegedly. murdered his wife. And got away with it. Yep. What's that word, double- 
Jeopardy. Double Jeopardy. What's that fucking mean? Uh, that you can't kill the same person twice. Oh, you can't be charged for killing the same for the trial. Mm. For the same person. Why didn't they catch him? Why don't they just because arrest him? You look at you can just look at his face and arrest him. And uh, Courtney Love, it's her birthday today as well. She's still alive. Kurt Cobain's ex. She's fifty four now. Whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> that's the craziest thing ever. Rest in peace, Kurt Cobain. You can do heroin and live till you're old. Yeah, she probably doesn't do it anymore, you fucking alcoholic cunt. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, hey, I've got MS. Leave me alone. <laughs> All right. Um, that's the end of the shit talk. Um, moving on to our second segment, which has been uh, renamed <laughs> uh, from Matthew Brown. Uh, wholesome. <laughs> I love the way he says wholesome. Wholesome concreting. Um, so whole- there's, an, there's an R in it. He's got a wholesome, wholesome shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> so, brand new segment and it's called- <laughs> <laughs> You scared me. <clears throat> and in this segment, basically, we just <clears throat> answer fan <laughs> questions. So This is a fucking fever dream. We've, oh, uh, God. Fans have sent in some what? questions. So do you want to open it's your fucking phone so we can answer the fucking <laughs> questions? Now, this is from Amelia underscore Dipe Olo. And she has asked, will you guys ever get married? Connor? Um, Who am I marrying? Sorry? uh, Do you think you will be married one day? Fuck no. No, absolutely not. Disgusting. You'll be single for life. Absolutely. Maybe you'll just be with her, but you won't, or him- him and yeah. won't be married. No, it's. N- I will never touch another person, a- another human being ever. Actually, okay. is it legal to get married if you're gay in Australia? Yeah, it is, it is now. now. Yeah. Really? They got through. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Michael, do you think you'll get married? I reckon I'll it's be- It's awkward because uh, his girlfriend's sitting right there. I'll maybe do the ceremony, but I, I, since I'm- I don't want to give half of my shit away if shit fucking crumbles. Just sign a prenup, Sign man. a prenup, mate. Oh, well, yeah, I'll yeah. get married. But- there you go. If you guys have kids, <laughs> you guys have kids, that prenup doesn't work. Yeah. So, you've got two options. You don't have kids or you have kids. And then when you get divorced, you obviously smother Abort the them. child. Abort them. Yeah. 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 L- get late abortion. Yeah. Late abortion. Yeah. 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 yeah, I'll probably get married. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I will um, I will 100% be getting married. Um, we're probably in the next five years. Let's be real. I'll probably be married within three months. Okay, next question. I- I'm engaged to, to Monique. <laughs> Wait, no are you actually engaged okay. to me? I don't know. <laughs> I, I didn't know either. I couldn't tell either. <laughs> That's it. Next question's from James underscore Wallbank. Wallbank. It's actually, and I think the W is silent. It's a James Zalbank. So W A L B A N K. Yeah. Try and pronounce it again. Wildbank. No, no. Remember, silent W at all. Albank. Wildbank. Wildbank. Mm, mm. Better. Wow. Very good. Mm. If you so two good. switched bodies, what would you do? I would- um, <laughs> I'd rip all my fucking hair out and then I'd go and go, go out and start a fight with someone and expose my teeth and walk towards them <laughs> like this. As I was insulting them, <laughs> I get my front teeth punched out of my fucking skull. <laughs> I'd rape Bosley. <laughs> oh, man. Imagine how disappointed he'd be. Yeah, the betrayal. He'd be oh. so betrayed. I think, oh I, think, I think deep down he'd know that it's not me, though. No, <laughs> no, yeah, no, he's the a fucking dog. The way you fill him up sometimes, he'd know. Yeah. I just do the same thing. <laughs> he's a, he's <sighs> a dog, okay? <sighs> you always do that. Anyway, next Connor, question. Connor, what would you do oh, if, yeah. if you were in it? Who am I? Who am I? Who am I transferring You're in Michael's to? body. Michael's body? <laughs> I don't know. Get a pedicure, braid my hair, and then sign over all of the fucking rights to these cunts to me, <laughs> and they'll have fucking nothing left. <laughs> what would you do if you were in my body? Um, I'd crack some milk. Hmm. Ah! <laughs> All right, next question is from Aussie underscore carts 99. I think the uh, AU at the beginning there is, um, it's French. And so, it's Uzi. Uzi underscore, underscore carts 99. And they have asked, when's your next meetup? Because I'm always going to be there to see you boys again. Oh, it's our mate from- Bloody fucking the uh, inflatable factory. Oh yeah, we we met we met Bryce the other day. Yeah, he was. A G'day, Brycey. How you going, brother? 
Hey? Yeah. Well, there you go. What have you been up to? What have you been doing, Bryce? Hey? What have you been? I can't bloody. We haven't heard from you, mate. Hey? <laughs> what have you been doing? You been working? Hey? Where are you? Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I'd say end of the year. Yeah, yeah. We usually have a meet and greet at the end of the year. We had one last year, but no one came. <laughs> oh man. Did um, no one actually come. Oh, you know, a few people here A few here people and there. came, yeah, like because we had different locations. <laughs> That's so depressing. Yeah, yeah it was yeah, it was yeah. pretty you, sad. You guys we were just should... getting fucked up by ourselves. Wow, in your fun part. you guys should kill yourself. Wow. No, that's a that's a good thing. You should draw yourself to suicide. I think if that's how yeah, things are yeah. going. Yeah, well, I'll just just that. look. That's, that's if it happens again, I will definitely be hanging myself. That's professional feedback. 100%. for you guys. I'm just, not. That's not. Just hang I will yourself. Hang myself. Yeah, absolutely. I'll support yeah, that. anyway. Yeah. All um, right, next question is so at the end of the year right at the end of the year end we'll do another year. one Probably if, but we're definitely going to confirm numbers before this time because <laughs> it was yeah it's pretty embarrassing yeah. Connor will be there I'll be there what are we doing I'm just going to get fucked up yeah. somewhere right, bro. fuck yeah brother Woo! fuck yeah bro at that point, Michael's MS will be so bad that we have to go to wheelchair accessible, shit, you guys wheelchair to accessible pubs we, and stuff. I'll be pranking the dude with MS. At least will get heaps of yeah. attention. Mm. I think you'll uh, get- That'll be more popular. Your hair will become your leash. <laughs> 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 That's good. Ah. Yeah. All right. Next question is from Mitchell0104. I think the uh, IT is actually um, Yugoslavian and it's- Michl- 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 Oh, chill. Better. Marty, I know you find cows fascinating <laughs> and like to fuck them pretty hard, <laughs> but do you also find bulls attractive? Oh, uh, look, I've, um, I don't know why this keeps getting brought up. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm certain that it's normal to have some slight attraction slash violent urges with cows yeah i've seen some feminine looking bulls that have tickled my fancy but at the end of the day but are you attracted to like masculine looking uh, bulls or is it just the feminine no it's bulls? yeah it's more the feminine ones the, the big ones it's like i've mentioned it's 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 yeah. involuntary That's i'll fine. see a cow and uh you wanna- I'll black out and i'll there'll be flashbacks it'll just be it's a mix between trying to kill kill the animal and uh, somehow i'm fucking it <laughs> and then I wake up and and uh, so you're okay fucking a female cow, but you just can't be gay. You can't fucking bull. It's yeah. the, it's the, well, I don't even like, know if it's, it's a gay thing. I just think the bull might. Um, I think it just could hurt you. Maybe you're just intimidated by the bull. Yeah, I think maybe the bull could hurt me. I think cows, maybe that's what cows it is. don't fight. But back. let's not rule no. it out. You know, it's only there are far more cows than bulls around. I'm sure if I do, saw you find it, that you're often having sex and then start trying to kill it, or is it more of like you try to kill it and, and you end up like you slip in? Because I find when when I'm fucking cows, I slip into them. It's usually I see the cow, I the urges bubble up very dramatically, yeah. and I black out, lose consciousness. Is what it feels like. Yeah. But I'll, there'll be parts where I come to and I've <clears> got it by the throat, and its hooves are trying to push <laughs> me off, but it's on its back and like my hands just. Completely around its throat, pushing just one it hand. Down. Yeah, yeah, and so it's impressive. Hind legs, I've lifted mm. to expose its rear, and I'm just um, sort of thrusting. So I've got two back legs in one hand, my other hand on its neck, and I'm thrusting forwards, and it's uh, you know obviously squirming around trying to get out, and then I'll black out for a bit and wait, yeah. come to, and I'll be I'll be punching it, and it'll be trying to run away. At this point, you're inside the cow. Oh yeah, yeah. Have you finished before you start hitting it? I don't really check, but I think so because my nuts are drained for the next four days. Yeah. <laughs> 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 next question. Jacko Sinsta. Jackos Insta. It's oh, pretty Jackos. straightforward. Yeah, yeah it's Insta. basic. Fucking hell. MS cunt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's the eyesight better. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. All right. Now, oh your thoughts on Nick Kyrgios. Shit bloke or good Aussie fella? Who's Nick Kyrgios? He's a tennis player. He's a tennis player. Ah, um, uh, yeah, I don't know. He's he's exciting, I guess. Mm. He's, he's he's better to watch than most players because he's got more of an attitude. I'd say I wouldn't, I wouldn't hang out with him personally. Yeah, I wouldn't fuck him. Is that what you mean? No, I like being have a beer or like I wouldn't uh, be friends with him, but I prefer to watch him over most boring tennis players. Would you have sex with him? Is what we're trying to fucking get at here? Would no. you have sex with him? Why not? Have sex with him? Why not? Uh, I don't know. Imagine being able to, like, imagine just picture this. You're in your wheelchair accessible pub, sitting down <laughs> with your mates, and you look up at the telly, Nick Kyrgios is playing, and you can turn around a bunch of strangers, you can go, hey. Fucked him. Fucked him. Mm. Yeah, I'd have sex. Yeah, yeah. right, yeah. 
Yeah. Imagine being able to say that and yeah. people be like, what? what? What do you mean? How, how did you do that? And you're like, don't worry about it. Yeah. Don't worry about it. I just and then leave. Him. Yeah, and just leave. Don't talk to them ever again. Roll. But you might need help. You need away. some help. I'd roll so, away. Yeah. Be at least one person you'd have to tell. Hair would get caught in the yeah. wheels. <laughs> MS you, does affect your hair. You he, can't cut as it. As he's rolling away, his hair would get pulled to the wheel. <laughs> his scalp, his fucking scalp comes off. Oh, man. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Have. Yeah, what about you? Would I fuck him? Or do you like him? Oh, he's all right. I, I hated him when I was a coach because it made all the kids behave in a um, really unattractive way. <laughs> <laughs> wrong word oh. wrong word it just ma- made them behave poorly yeah yeah that's probably more appropriate <laughs> yeah what about you connor do you like him uh you don't know him don't i don't know him all right next question <laughs> roman underscore Rana. yeah i think it might be two underscores maybe I'm not sure yeah, yeah two underscores maybe ms <laughs> how many chickens would it take to kill an elephant great question Really good question. Um, you know, we've got a science background, so our, I guess is is an educated one. And um, judging from the data that we've done from similar experiments, I think uh, 17 chickens, doesn't sound like many, but 17 chickens would be able to... I've done separate research and I can confirm that 17 chickens would just absolutely fucking destroy yeah, an it, elephant. It, it induces some sort of shock to the elephant. Yeah, and it yeah. It's just... Withers quite quickly. Would you be surprised if you saw 17 chickens? 17 chickens aggressively coming he'd, towards he'd, you. He'd, he'd fuck you up. Yeah. You know, they can fly a bit. A little so, bit, yeah. You know, the elephant heart yep. palpitations drops yeah. to its knees. Next question is from the <laughs> underscore fairy underscore squat mo dot dot dot. Squat mother, maybe... I can't because it's, oh, yep, it's a yep, screenshot. Yep, okay. Mm. Yeah, maybe Squat Mother. Yeah. Fairy Squat Mother, I think. If you were a superhero, what would your name <laughs> be and what would be your superpowers? Hmm. Also, who would be your sidekick? I you know, can I just quickly say I love superhero films and Marvel films. Marvel is a great establishment. Oh. I think <laughs> I know you just stoned me. <laughs> what are you talking? If you no. like that shit, <laughs> fuck off. Get out. What do you mean? It's shit. No, it's good. It's for the, it's good. It's adult content. It's oh, man. made it, for it adults. Keeps, it stops adults from growing up. What and are you talking about? What are you that. talking about? You're, You're insane. About yeah. You're becoming Fully. a responsible young man. DC is just as bad. All that shit. Oh, you're just like oh. you're just like Thanos. Hmm. Who's That's that? you. You're just like that. Thanos. You oh, are. He, he's the fucking guy. I think I've seen that guy. Oh, you've seen him now. Hmm. Huh? Here we go. Yeah. Ah. Fucking, from Avengers, like Avengers, right? He's the bad guy. Yeah. Oh, so you Thor's brother. It. Yep. That's it. Thor's cousin. No, brother. Thor's brother. Yeah. There so what? What superhero would we be? <laughs> I'd probably be some sort of um. Donald Duck. If I if my superpower I guess would be uh, speaking cow, and my <laughs> sidekick would be um, my uncle, very strong German man. <laughs> and I think my superhero name would be um, the Hefefucker. <laughs> Michael, would your superpower be to walk again? Yeah, yeah, I'd fucking no. I'd- your su- superpower includes a stronger <laughs> immune system. <laughs> oh, no, I just want the working the, work the wheelchair to be able to levitate like three centimeters. So you want to be able to fly, and you'd be called the MS dude. That's it. Yeah. No, that's it. MS dude. And your sidekick would be a stillborn. <laughs> <laughs> and you just drag it around on a little chain <laughs> with my hair <laughs> oh man <laughs> yuck I'm imagining it I think that is everything is that all the qu- fan questions <laughs> <laughs> All right, next segment. <clears throat> and uh, this week, uh, Matthew Brown from Wholesome has renamed uh, segment number three. Can you just repeat who is that and where are they from? Matthew Brown. Matthew from Brown. where, sorry? From Wholesome, okay, thank wholesome you. Concrete. Yep. Wholesome H-O-L-C-L-M. Concrete. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Uh, oh, I told you about the message we got from someone about fucking segment changes on Matt. Oh, yeah, you heard me. Yeah, I heard you. You yeah. were speaking right next to me. Yeah, fuck. That's the MS. Sorry, man. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Standing right next to you. Commented on an after. We yeah. all laughed together. I tapped you like this and said, I can't believe that, man. You leaned in for a kiss and I pushed you away. <laughs> yeah, shit. Uh, yeah, I forgot. 
All right. right. The next segment has been renamed. Guess Connor joins. Mikai Fianta, no Kai Fianta, Hashinai, Boishinu, Yoda Connor! Some sort of Japanese dialect there, Matthew Brown, wholesome concrete. <laughs> and basically, this segment has, uh, it, it just has a brief description here. It says, Gust Connor joins. Hello. Gust. Gust Connor. It's a spelling book. Yeah. I think he was meant yeah, to- Yeah, wait a fuck that up. <laughs> This is my fucking moment. Yeah, this is Connor Gosto. This is my goddamn moment. You fucking gust oh, me. Look, he's, he's fixed it. Oh, wow. Thanks. That's rich. Oh, wow. <laughs> Holy shit. That's technology hard. You fucking linked him up. CJM. No, I'm just trying Come. to write. Yep, Come. Yep. Just so we're all aware of where we're all at. Right, so, um, Connor. Yes. How are you, man? I'm feeling great. It's good to be here. Thanks for having me on. What's your um, earliest memory of us? Um... I, holy fuck, I can't even remember. I remember you in like a, when you lived in Chermside and, and I came and had to rebuke. Re, re, uh, uh, oh, yeah, oh, 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 oh. Sorry, I just had a stroke. No, you've we been two German. people here with them. Yeah, I had to get fucking drunk and review a movie and I got so hammered from you feeding me drinks that I died on the side of the road and I was throwing up on the highway on the way home. Yeah, and I can't wow. drink whiskey ever since then because you- you did a lot to me, man. Oh man, I, had, I had, yeah, I was my my hands were super curious. You were fucked. Yeah, it was, I mean, oh yeah, I, I did invite I wasn't it in. There. No, you weren't there. I don't remember. I don't remember the first time I met you. I think that was at the the next place. So, um, where do you see yourself going with your little cheeky YouTube channel? Probably just still doing it, but probably more like I'm doing it and getting paid just money a bit for richer. it. Richer, yeah, just a bit. Uh, oh, wealth, uh, cash. Money, a bit jewels, of money, jewels, jewels, jewels gems, and rubies, gems, emeralds, more followers, more followers, mm, pussy, power, pussy, pussy, yes. Yes. nothing else matters, <laughs> numbers, <laughs> share it. <laughs> oh, share and and similar dreams, similar dreams. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, we're all kindred spirits. We've been doing this for just as long. <clears throat> I think you guys have been doing it a bit longer. You know. You've done it oh, much yeah. better. <laughs> but, you know. Only in the last two years. Yeah. yeah. Once Once we years. sucked before that. We sucked hard. Is that right? All those live streams we did. I was oh. coked to the eyeballs all the time. <laughs> Not <laughs> good. We used to hurt ourselves bad for like 300 views. Yeah. And only because the pain was like therapy. It was so sad. I still remember oh, what, yeah. when I first sat down with both of you, we were ordering lunch and I was talking about, oh, what are you guys going to do with YouTube? Like, what else would you be doing? And you turned to me and without missing a beat went, it's this or heroin, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's this or heroin. And you weren't lying. You, well, you yeah, were not joking. What's the fucking point in living if yeah. you can't do what you want? Yeah. All the time. I, fuck oath. That's how I feel. Mm. Ah! <laughs> 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 Yeah, so YouTube will be your career soon. Oh, well, he's hoping. You know, we're on our way, making some funny content, we hope. Um, all right. Well, I think so, we've- Yeah, this is Connor, everyone. Yeah, well, thank you. Yeah, it's we love we here. love their shit. They're some of the funniest, probably like 16th or 17th ranked. Uh, we watch like a good 25 sketch comedy groups and they're like the top, top 20. It's you just went shit. from 16 to 17 to fucking top 20. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I, th- I just remembered it. Yeah, he's- 18, 19. It's pretty good. Go and have a look. I really like the ones that um, we're in. Yeah, yeah. They're definitely the best. I saw one of your sketches <laughs> on Facebook the other day. Yeah, some fucking piece of shit freebooted it. Yeah. Did you get up there? No, 750k yet. views with Fuckers. us in it. Yeah. Like fucking jerks. Really? Yeah. yeah. Fuck it's happened, it happens a lot on Instagram fucking. too. Does it? Do you get that a lot? People oh, yeah, with your all shit? the time. Oh, yeah. But now we can, we have the power to strike them. Do like, you actually? We are like gods. Oh my god! And claim their earnings. Really? <clears throat> yeah. So you can claim what they've earned off the video so far. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you- then strike them after. So you Take can be like, money I'm taking the- everything. Thanks for all the views. Also, mm. fuck you. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude. It's wow. Gonna, it feels, it's, we haven't done it. It's, this is going to be our first month doing it. That's powerful. It's going to feel so good. Yeah, that's going to feel great. Yeah, if you rip content and put it up as your own and don't credit people, you're a dirt piece and of shit. And you earn money off other people's shit. Yeah, you're a dirt piece of shit. <clears throat> Less than dirt, some would say. Oh, my well, God. pain in my chest from that. It's probably just the MS reaching your vital organs. Oh. MS. We're going to fucking manifest this and it's going to happen. Yeah. Is there a cure? Yeah, stop fucking drinking. (laughs) (laughs) All right. There's no cure for multiple sclerosis. Get better medicine. 
Yeah, yeah, medicine does have to sort itself out. It's so lazy. That's why I don't vaccinate. So many all. medicines and, and none of them fix that yeah. problem? Yeah, that's Come ridiculous. On. And no. doctors and scientists out there, I'm sure if we sat down, could Maybe easily we should do work it. on that. I'll send an email. I'll yeah, send an email. And we'll you, are you guys vaccinated? I think so. Yeah, is maybe. that when, you th- when your uncle shoves his thumb up your ass? That is exactly what yeah, yeah, vaccination I'm definitely is. definitely vaccinated. I'm That's well and truly exactly vaccinated. <laughs> well, this this is going to ruin my career. <laughs> this podcast is going to ruin oh, my career. Oh, crack. Um, so, no story this week, but we'll have a um, a story next week. No. But what's, oh, what was the story we're going to fucking tell? Oh, the time you fucking oh, oh, yeah, the almost time, killed me. The time Michael w- jumped off a- wanted to jump off a bridge, change- changed his mind- and then I stomped his fingers till he- so he fell into like the bridge. it was like a 10 meter like- drop. <laughs> 10 meter drop. I was pissed drunk at like 3 a.m. He stomped his fingers. <laughs> Michael started screaming for help. Yeah, I was like, stop. No, dude, I've changed my mind. No, dude, no, dude. And there were heaps of people watching. There was a watching. crowd watching and they, you could tell they all wanted me to fucking fall. And so Marty just fucking- Yeah, I, put- I did what I had to do. Put me down. Stomped his fucking wall. Then once I realised that it was doable, I ran back up and, did it, and did it again. Nice. So you really, you're a good friend. You're a real good dude. I was He's showing him, me the way. I was showing him what to do. What did you jump into? Sorry, the Brisbane River. <laughs> you, you know the bridge that goes from <laughs> the casino to yeah, South yeah, Bank. Yeah, that, that bridge. Off that one. Wow, I can't believe quite you high. stopped. That's really high. And you just stomped on his fingers like mm, you didn't give a and, damn. And maintained eye contact as I watched him fall. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Didn't even laugh. I love that I see you. I love that I see you guys once every three months. <laughs> <laughs> it's a perfect amount it's of time. It's been like six months. It's been a long time since I've seen you last. Yeah, fuck, because you live like in the other Egypt. I do. It's true. All right, moving on to the next segment. <clears throat> this uh, segment has been renamed uh, from Matthew Brown. <laughs> Wholesome. Uh, so this segment is called. <laughs> And this is just a segment where we read new trending news stories and comment on them. So let's let's begin. All right, we have a story from the Daily Mail, and they have reported: Anyone have a hack for getting the misses out of here? <laughs> Frustrated dad stuck. stuck shopping in Kmart for three hours. Please for help. How the fuck is this a story? How the fuck do you get stuck shopping in th- for three? Just leave the store. How the fuck is this a story? This is in, this is national news. International Man, news? Anyone have a hack for getting the misses out of here? Who the fuck did did someone just have a have to come up with a story and they realized they'd forgotten the deadline was in half an hour and then they just fucking ran a Kmart and found oh, someone? So he didn't fucking yell out in public. He's just put it on his social media and gotten a bunch of responses. And then the Daily Mail contacted him and said, "Hey, that's a that's a great Peace. You know what I think we should do? We should look for some Marvel news. Let's look up some hot, mm. fresh Marvel movie news. Michael? Find out the latest on the superheroes. I'm keen to find out who the next- Batman is. Batman is. I'm also- Who's going to play Tom Hanks in the next Marvel film? That's what I want to know. The next Batman has actually been named. Yeah, it's Robert Pattinson, isn't it? I mean, I don't know who that is. <laughs> I don't even know. Who, yeah, who the fuck- Is that that guy from Twilight? Yeah. yeah. It's the Twilight yeah. guy. He watches. Oh, he gone, he's like hey, a vampire. Rob. He gone, Robbie? Uh, check out that. my channel. If he's a vampire, he's like a bat, which is like a Batman. That sort of fits. I don't mind that. You're going to see that one? Vam- yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> no fucking way. This story is from Metro, and they have reported wrestling midgets killed by fake hookers. <laughs> the world of Mexican midget wrestling is in mourning after two of Tit's most famous stars were apparently poisoned by fake prostitutes. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> That's got to be fake How news. do you even no, joke, no, how no. Do you joke about Brothers that? Brothers in armlocks, Alberto and Alejandro Perez Jimenez were found dead in a hotel room after being drugged and robbed. Wow. Wrestling midgets. Well, I guess, like, it's it's smart. Those those fake hookers, like, it's- if you, Not to be mean to s- smaller people, but they're easily physically- They're much overpowered. Weaker. Can, yeah. Yeah. If, if I was if I was going to rob someone and I saw a midget or a normal person, not a normal person, a, a, a person that is normal, <laughs> then I would pick the midget every time. It's much easier to steal things from them. It's much easier. It was probably an accident. Here's the thing that confuses me, though. They went after wrestling midgets. So, you're going after- 
the strongest midgets. Well trained midgets. And what's stronger, a, a wrestling midget, a strong, like a, a, a Dwayne Johnson style wrestling midget, mm. or a normal, like you, Michael, who would yeah, win? Like a, a skinny man. Yeah. You know, and if I was a fake hooker, I would drug and rape you, Michael, before mm. I dr- drug and rape a wrestling midget for a number of reasons, mostly sexual preference. But I'd allow it. All right. Next story is from the Daily Mail. And they have said, he was a strong little bitch. Stand-up paddleboarder claimed he walked on water to escape savage shark attack. See, this he's good. That's what we do. Like, fuck. Like, oh, remember yeah, that yeah. fucking dickhead so that died is, or something the other he must, week? He must it. listen to the podcast. This guy must listen to the podcast. As we've said before, if a shark's coming towards you, stand up and walk away. This guy's <laughs> clearly taken he that- He walked on water. It's perfect. There you go. It's not hard. So, there you go. Proof that it works. What do you guys do in a tsunami situation? Just to throw one out look, there. Look, you just- You, you, you turn on- you I turn jump around. over the wave. You it's don't- bang. Or duck dive under it. Well, duck this, dive this under it. This is what I don't understand, right? Boxing Day tsunami, 2004, killed what? 250,000 people? Yeah, they must just have been swim. Sleeping. Yeah. Just swim. Yeah, you'd think that- like at least half of them had had swimming lessons when they were yeah, younger. Yeah, and you know, it's a bit of a disgrace that they hadn't because look what happens when you don't take them to early swimming lessons. Yeah, fuck. Oh just I, yeah, just, just uh, there you go, guys. If you've got kids, take them to swimming lessons so that when the tsunami comes, they can swim. Swim away. Yeah, unless that kid has a mess, in which case they're fucking yeah, gone. Just tie their hair to a pole and give them a quick death. <laughs> <laughs> Give them a quick death. Well, how would the fucking- Why would you tie their hair to Just a Just so they can't move around. It's over quicker. <laughs> what, so all I'm MS assuming, people have long just hair? Just assuming everyone with MS has long blonde hair. Fuck me. <laughs> I'm so getting MS. <laughs> there you go. Finally, someone who's listened to our advice. And that goes for anyone else out there. Any, if you're being shot at, if someone's attacking you, just get out of the way. And walk away. All right, this this story is from Newsweek. <clears throat> and they have said, Florida man arrested for playing basketball completely naked at park. We've done this. We've done this. You've done- you've played basketball naked at a park? We've played a version of basketball, yeah. high as fuck, naked. Yeah, out of school. I was doing it to try and psych Michael out. Ooh, is- it did. He won the match. It Ooh, fucking- Every time. Every time I won the match. He was screaming naked. <laughs> in a school? Yeah. Like, Holy like- shit. If we were in a school. Yeah, I know. I just said that before. I can't be here. But like, it was, up- <laughs> it was after hours. Oh, yeah, yeah, there was- and were- it was a high school. It yeah, wasn't it was a primary school. It was a high school. school. It's fine. And it was mostly after hours. You know, I'm trying to get government funding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to put doing? us in it. <laughs> for a web series yeah. that we'll be in. Yeah. So, Newsweek, fuck me. How the fuck are some of these do you, get a- do you get arrested for shit like this and then become like a registered sex offender? Is this the sort of thing that makes you registered? I think so, yeah. Fuck. Just for playing basketball naked. Like, that's not sexual. That's know, not a yeah, sexual thing. Unless you have an erection. Yeah, but I mean, who doesn't have an erection when you're playing basketball naked? That's the real fucking question. Against- Especially at a school. This story is from Lad Bible, and they have reported, Man steals 7.5-inch dildo and sex machine stand from adult store. A man in Australia has been caught on camera fling an adult store with a 7.5-inch squirting dildo on a sex machine stand. Whatever that is. Wait, does- Everyone else know what they are? The bloke in question who was wearing some fairly bold pink purple trainers and a bright green sleeved top can be seen gazing longingly at the adult items in his hands. Now, after a short pause, the guy decides he simply must have them, but will not pay for an exit in the store stage left. The store in question was be daring out, strong to bulge in all the Brisbane, and they share the CCTV footage on Facebook, and I hope tracking down the thief. They also took the opportunity to take a dig at the dildo deep. The pies read. The person on the stuck hour is the freshest fuck pancakes. He got to pay for the same one by starting to learn a sex machine stand. Who's why I like to watch the store? Wow, it got really big and like a lot of exclamation marks at the end. Again, I'm not sure that that should be newsworthy, but there you go. You see something you want, take it. Yeah, that's that's the lesson in that. You see something you want, take it without question. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> Good summary. Hmm. Oh. Can you talk like that more often? <laughs> you guys are going to put me on a about? watch list. Put <laughs> a FBI. fucking watch list after yeah. this. <clears throat> oh, oh man, shit. I've got some bad stomach cramps right now. <laughs> like I have got. 
Today we ate the, the world's <laughs> hottest <laughs> burger. This is a fucking circus. This is a fucking circus. <laughs> this is oh. intense. You ate the world's hottest burger down at Redland Bay, wherever it is, Wellington Point. Oh, uh, burger God, urge. Bro. Yeah, burger urge. 2.5 million scolioville. It's scoliosis units. Sclerosis, scle- <laughs> multiple. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's what gave you the message, the burger. Yeah. yeah, bottom half is shutting down right now. My stomach and is. And that number, 2.5 million, is that's four times more than the Carolina Reaper chili. Yeah. So, that's we, crazy. That's what's going through the bike at the moment. <laughs> oh, it's bad, dude. <clears throat> Did you cry when you had it? Did you I vomited, look? yeah, and tears came out of my eyes. Fuck Very yeah. Painful. I still can't rub my eyes or assholes. Oh, and I had a Not piss. Six of them. I had a piss after and touched my dick and burnt my dick. You burn your, di- your dick hole? Like the top of your dick Matt's hole? looking at us. Matt's maintaining eye contact with me. He's about to show us something on his board. Go ahead, man. What is it? Hmm? What have you drawn now? One of your silly little pictures again? Hmm? Concrete truck. Hey? <laughs> <laughs> concrete truck. Hmm? Your little numbers. Oh, my God. It's this exact street address. 50 minutes. 50 minutes. He's fucking around again. He's held up a sign saying 50 minutes. What are we meant to do with that? What does that even mean? Oh. Anyway, moving on. The next segment. <coughs> I've never met this cunt in my life. <laughs> we started recording, then he showed up. I've never met this cunt. Matt Brown works at Holson. Oh, <laughs> dude, it's bad. It's getting worse. I might have to go have a bathroom break. Are you going to shoot yourself on camera? Oh, it's, it's going to burn. I had... Uh, anyway, let's move forward. All right, the uh, next segment is uh, has not been renamed. <laughs> wow, it just says uh, simply segment five prank call. Holy shit! Yeah, which it is very self-explanatory. I like it, Matt. Let's let's not change it. <laughs> Who is this cunt, and why haven't you introduced me to him? He's like a neighbour or something. I've never met him in my life. He's the concrete man. This week for this week's prank call, I'm going to uh, pretend to be a really arrogant. Mm. Gross female social media influencer. Do you, are you and demand, get, can you do female voice and demand mm. discount codes? Maybe I'll just be a guy. I don't know. I'm, I no, feel like no, you got It's got to be female. Okay. If it's an influencer asking for codes, you okay, got to no, because they'll fucking it, they'll, they'll understand. It. They'll know it's a prank. If you you can't do a female voice, I can. I can. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Who are we calling? <laughs> <laughs> We're calling Domino's. All right, sweet. The same restaurant that we call every week. <laughs> Is it the same? The, the same, same shop? one. The same time. The same shop. Fuck you, Domino's. <laughs> if you oh time, so. fuck! I hope this goes well. Hey, how are you going? So yeah, you're right. gonna be like, hi. Or hi. should I just be myself? No, because because no, do do the arrogant. I reckon fucking- if I just be myself. Well, yeah, no, well, I'll, just, I'll uh, just be my you- really normal, arrogant self. Yeah, yeah. Hey, mate, it's uh, it's Marty. Sorry, it's Marty here. Yeah, Marty. M- Marty from from Marty and Michael. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I know, mate. Um, yeah, it's just I'm, I'm ordering pizza. I just uh, I thought you'd know who I was. Um, anyway, can I just get a couple of pizzas, please? Um, pick up I'll, I'll I'll come and pick them up, please. I've, I've got a uh, I've got my driver waiting at the front. Thanks for holding. A Domino's team member will be with you shortly. Did you know Domino's? You fucking can't just put me on hold. Use it. Use it. Use it. Use it. We hear you, and because you deserve better. We're determined to make it right. That's why we created Dom Pizza Checker. It's a fucking. Yeah, hey, mate, sorry, did you just put me on hold there? Was it? Was it? Was that an accident? There, you just had me on hold for about thirty seconds. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, right, mate. That, that's that's a bit bloody rude. There, I was trying to order my pizza. Anyway, moving right along, I'll have three pizzas, please. Um. What's that, mate? Yeah, what pizza you want? What's that, mate? What pizza? What pizza? Can I get one large barbecue meat lovers? Okay. Now, how old is the meat? Sorry? How old is the meat? Meat? How- all maybe ham, beef. Yeah, how old is it? How old is the meat? Is it fresh meat? Yes. Okay, great. I'll have one of those. 
Um, I'm not. We've got. Uh, I'm. I'm. <laughs> I'm the I'm the, I'm the YouTuber guy. I'm I'm on Facebook. You you would have seen my videos. Sure, yeah. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't next pizza is the Hawaiian. Please, can I get a large Hawaiian pizza? Okay. Ma Marty, you've never heard of Marty and Michael. Uh, no. You've never heard of it. You definitely would have seen our videos. We've got we've got nearly six hundred k on Instagram. <laughs> got a lot lot of lot of money. Anyway, uh, so the second pizza is the Hawaiian. Okay. Um, and the third pizza, um, are you sure you haven't heard of us? This is the first time this has happened. <laughs> usually the, uh, the, one of the other guys, um, they usually give me a, a bit of a discount because I'm a, a bit of a uh, local celebrity. Yeah, I you discount. Uh, can you send me a, uh, what pizza you want? Third one. What's that, sorry? Third one, third one. Yeah, yeah, the third one. I'll, a barbecue chicken pizza, please. Barbecue chicken and bacon? No, no, no bacon, thanks. I'm looking after my figure. We've got a shoot uh, so next week. Chicken, barbecue, chicken, uh, camembert. We've actually just been uh, nailed a brand deal. We're doing a um, video with Bonds, you know, the underwear company. Anyway, doesn't matter. Yeah, so those three pizzas, thanks. What, what is the third one? Chicken bacon or chicken bacon ranch? No, no, no bacon on that, please. I'm looking after my figure. I have a shoot okay. next week in Malibu. Yes, Jesus. Yes. Okay, chicken and bacon and no bacon. Chicken and bacon and no bacon, yes. I'm making it just a chicken pizza. Have the chicken and bacon and remove the bacon. Okay. Anything else? Uh, how, how much is that in total? Uh, $26 and 40 <laughs> Um, Last time I sort of just gave you guys a, a shout out on Instagram. Um, and, and you guys, uh, the, the, the guy I spoke to... Um, just sort of gave me the pizzas just because he, he knew who I was and um and just because like you know it's it's we've got nearly 600k on <laughs> on Instagram so like yeah it's it's definitely worth it so um I can come and show you our analytics if you like and um we can just waive that fee okay under the name uh, uh Michael no Marty from Marty and Michael, whether whether you whether YouTubers, Marty, Marty. yeah, the 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 the, fa the yeah. famous you, Facebook guys, the the, fa the fa hang on, the the Facebook guys. You seriously have you ever seen a video how to quit smoking? Uh, no. On Facebook, uh, do you have your phone on you, mate? I'm not. I can't. I don't have any coins on me to pay for that. I've, I'm just going to come in and give you guys a swipe up on our Instagram. Okay? Yeah. I'm going to have to cancel that order. Cancel the order? Yeah, cancel it, mate. If you don't know who I am, I can't shop here. Okay, thank you. See ya. Marty. <laughs> that was just... <laughs> Oh, I can't oh. shop here. Oh. That was I'll, I'll bring up my analytics and we'll waive that fee. <laughs> <laughs> I feel sick. <laughs> <laughs> yes, chicken bacon without bacon making it. <laughs> Just chicken. <laughs> oh, no. That that's poor sick. guy. I don't like that character. That, that wasn't fun. Usually it's fun. That wasn't that fun. He was too nice to you. That's why. Didn't oh. he tell you he would give you a discount? Wasn't he like- yeah, yeah, I think he was just trying to get me off the phone. Yeah. We'd have to wow. take the podcast down to Domino's. Oh my god! <clears throat> oh, that was one of my favourites yet. I think. <laughs> really, I felt real sick. Yeah, but it was so entertaining, dude. <laughs> that is. <laughs> you did a great job. <laughs> Yeah. I, don't have, I don't have any oh. coins to pay for that. Thirty-six dollars. <laughs> I don't have any coins. <laughs> you should just use your card. Like a yeah. normal person. I don't, have, I don't have coins. <laughs> oh man, let's end this because I need a shit. All right, guys. The next week we got cover beer coming out. We got coming at you live out of temporary tempura battered fish and chips from the cocaine store. We're out of it. We're the best. 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 Thank you for coming on the show. Connor's not bad either. So much for having me. Really dragged that. Fuck. Oh my ass. Yes.